हिम थियन मतलब टुमोरो बोलते हैं जी वेदर को बोलो कल का मौसम हिम थियन थियन छी जमाया मींस हाउस द वेदर टुमोरो ठीक है मतलब आप कल कंडीशन जानना चाह रहे हो नेचर किसी चीज की जानना चाह रहे हो या मैनर जानना चाह रहे हो मिसाल के तौर पे मैं हम लोगों ने पढ़ा था नी हाउ मा राइट मींस हाउ आर यू लेकिन मैं आपको कहता हूं आप इस तरह भी लिख सकते हो नी सम्मा या मींस हाउ आर यू अगेन ये बेटर है हाउ आर यू मतलब दिस इज बेटर वे टू आस्क चाइनीज ऐसे पूछते हैं अगर आप ऐसे पूछोगे तो चाइनीज को इंप्रेस करोगे अगर आप पहले वाले तरीके से पूछोगे तो वो चाइनीज को आप वियर फील करवाओगे ठीक है nobody says like that everybody says like this okay matlab aap jab jis tarah hum english mein nahi hai woh si cheeze hame padha di jati hai lekin asal mein kisi aur tarah like like hame padha jata hai how are you lekin aise koi nahi puchta what's up what's going on uh, how's how's you doing matlab there are many different ways like how are you to koi nahi puchta it's very uh, very old very like forgotten way was samar right so isi tarah ye ye woh cheez hai matlab they are it's not in use lekin padhaya jata hai ठीक है नी हाउ मा मींस हाउ आर यू लेकिन वी शुड यूज दिस वन नी सरमाया मींस हाउस यू ओके अब वो हाउस यू में अपनी हेल्थ बताए अपने वर्क के बारे में बताए अपने लर्निंग के लर्निंग के बारे में बताए देखो अगर तो आप स्पेसिफिक हो जाओगे तो तो वो आपको उसी के बारे में बताएगा जो आप पूछोगे मिसाल के तौर पे नी द कोंगजो सरमाया मींस हाउस योर वर्क अगर आप वर्क के बारे में पूछो तो सिर्फ वर्क के बारे में बताएगा ठीक है इसी तरह अगर आप उसकी स्टडी के बारे में पूछो नहीं अगर आप उसकी स्टडी के बारे में पूछो तो वो स्टडी के बारे में बताएगा ठीक है तो अगर तो आप स्पेसिफिक हो गए हो या उसकी हेल्थ के बारे में पूछो हेल्थ के लिए एक वर्ड है शन थी ओके नीदा शन थी शन थी तमा या ठीक है नीदर्शन थी जमैया अगर आप हेल्थ के बारे में पूछो तो हेल्थ के बारे में बताएगा राइट अगर तो आप उसे स्पेसिफिकली उस चीज के बारे में पूछो जो आप जानना जा रहे हो या नीमा मा जमैया आप भी उसकी मदर के बारे में पूछना चाह रहे हो ठीक है वट एवर जो आप पूछना चाह रहे हो वो आप उसे स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन कर सकते हो अगर ऐसे कोई आप नहीं करना चाह रहे आप सिर्फ उसे फुली ऑप्शन दे देते हो कि वट एवर ही वॉन्ट टू टेल वट एवर शी वॉन्ट टू मैंशन इट्स ओके इट्स ऑन डायरेक्ट द चोइस इज अपू हर अप टू हेम तो आप क्या उसे ओपन ऑप्शन दोगे किस तरह वो इस तरह समैया ठीक है और आप उसे तो आप उसकी मर्जी वो आपको क्या बताता है अपनी स्टडी की कहानी बताता है अपनी रहाइश की एनी थिंग वट एवर वट एवर शी वॉन्ट टू जाएगी अपनी हेल्थ की ठीक है हाउस यू तो तुम कैसे हो ये पूछो नी जमैया हाउस यू ओके okay, लेकिन अगर आप वर्ड पूछोगे नीदा कोंगजो जमाया तो उसे वर्ड से रेलिवेंट आपको बताएगा नीदा श्रेषी जमाया हाउस यू स्टडी या मैं पूछता हूँ जी तुम्हारी चाइनीज कैसी है नीदा ओके okay, जो चाइनीज या अब वो सिर्फ चाइनीज हो रहा है वो अपनी हेल्थ के बारे में नहीं बता सकता बिकॉज मैंने उसे चाइनीज के बारे में पूछा राइट नीदा खाई जमैया हाउस यू चाइनीज नी जमैया मीस हाउस यू नीदा खाई मीस जमैया हाउस यू चाइनीज क्योंकि हम पहले से पढ़ चुके हैं पहले वाले जून के अंदर आपको पहले से पता है जो अब हमारे पास ये जमा था ना डेट वॉज लाइक हाउ लेकिन अब हम क्या है जमाइया ओके हाउस डैट हाउस वट्स वट्स गोइंग ऑन वट्स ठीक है इस सेंस में आ रहा है तो मीन थियन थियन चीज जमाइया हाउस टूमोरो ठीक है सो जमाइया बेसिकली कैसे यूज हो रहा है जमाइया को आप यूज करो इंटेरोगेशन के लिए इंटेरोगेटिव प्रो नाउन है जिसको आप यूज करो इज यूज टू आस्क अबाउट द कंडीशन ऑफ समथिंग और समन ओके किसी चीज की या किसी बंदे की कंडीशन के बारे में जानने के लिए आप इस वर्ड को यूज कर सकते हो तो मूविंग ऑन जोथियन ये भी आप लोग पढ़ चुके हो न्यू वर्ड्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर्स चैप्टर दिस दिस चैप्टर्स न्यू वर्ड्स हम लोग पढ़ लेते हैं उसमें न्यू वर्ड फर्स्ट वर्ड इज थी मीन्स वेदर मौसम ओके समाया मीन्स यू आर आस्किंग फॉर कंडीशन ऑफ सामबोडी एंड सम समाया हाउ ओके थाई थाई मींस टू ओके हमने एक और वर्ड पढ़ा हुआ है दैट इज हांग मींस वेरी रिमेंबर वेरी 
ये भी लेकिन देखो ये जो वर्ड है ना पॉजिटिव वर्ड वेरी पॉजिटिव वर्ड दिस नेगेटिव वर्ड आई टेल आई आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ थाई मीन्स टू एक्सेसिवली ओके ना थाई के साथ हमेशा बीच में सेंटर में एब्जेक्टिव आता है एंड लव लव जो आएगा वेन एवर इट्स पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव सेंटेंस है तो लव ओमिट हो जाए बट विल कम ऑन टू दैट आजकल के आजकल गर्मी है राइट सो हम कहेंगे अगर तो थोड़ी अगर तो मैंने बताना है सिंपल इट्स वेरी हॉट टू गेट राइट जैसे मैंने वेरी यूज करा मैं क्या बोलूंगा Very hot today. I'm just mentioning that it's hot today. Okay, like मैं सिर्फ बता रहा हूँ कि it's hot. Uh, it's very hot. Like अगर आपने उसको उसमें negative tone डालनी है, means आपने आपने कहना यार आज बहुत गर्मी है, आज बदाश नहीं हो रही इतनी गर्मी. तो आप क्या use करोगे? तब आप Thai का use करोगे. ठीक है कैसे? Chin Tian Thai Rala. ठीक है. तब आप ये use करोगे. ठीक है. देखो ऊपर जो statement थी that was it's very hot today. You are just mentioning that it's hot, it's very hot. But here we get it's too hot today. It's too hot today. So the Thai को use करना तो ल के साथ use होता है, ठीक है? ल is the adjective. So hot यहाँ पे आएगा, ठीक है? Chin Thian Thai ल ला. It's too hot today, ठीक है? There's a negative tone in your in your words. Chin Thian Thai ल. It's very hot today. There's no negative. Tone. You're just telling it's very hot. I'm both telling you. It's too hot today. गर्मी है बर्दाश्त नहीं होगी राइट ये वो चीज समझ आ गया हो पर मेड माय पॉइंट इसी तरह ठंड में क्या होता है लॉन्ग तो लॉन्ग के लिए हन लॉन्ग वेरी वेरी कॉल तो थाई लॉन्ग ला शा मींस डाउन इट मींस रेन सो शा ये मींस रेन फॉल टू रेन ओके इट्स रेनिंग ओके नेक्स्ट इज शाओ जी ए मींस मिस बट इट्स बेटर टू यूज मे और शाओ जी जे टू कॉल योर चाइनीज Friends or any Chinese girl, it's bad. These are better words. But in book, it's written "xiao ji" means miss. Okay, like if there is Miss Wang, means Miss Wang. So how will we say? We say Wang xiao ji. Okay, Wang xiao ji means Miss Wang. Okay, meaning now I have already told you that told you that uh, Wang is a family name, right? Wang after Wang we put profession, right? Wang Lao Shi, Wang. Isham Wang Thong Shui means classmate Wang. Okay, so Wang Xiaoji means Miss Wang. Okay, so now uh, Lai means to come. We have already done Shui to go. Okay, now Shen Ti Ni means health body. Okay, Ni Da Shen Ti your health. Wu Da Shen Ti my health. Ma Ma Shen Ti your mother's health. Your mother's body. Okay, I means to love. Shui means some, a few. Okay, it's a small quantity. Shui go up means food. Okay, shui means water. We have already done these things. So <clears throat> these are new words. Tian qi, weather. Tamaya, how? You are asking about condition. How? For something, somebody. Thai, too excessively. Thai is always used with la. And adjective in between. Thai, shama shama la means uh, you are you are saying it's too hot today. Chin tian thai ru la. It's very hot today. Chin Tian means bro. Okay. Uh, Xia means down. Yu means rain. Xia Yu means rain or raining. Uh, to rain. Uh, Ru means hot. Long means cold. Xia Ji means miss. Wang Xia Ji means miss Wang. Okay. Lai means to come. Uh, Shen Ti uh, health body. I love. Xie means uh, some. Shui Guo means food. Shui means water. Achieve to go. These are some new words. Now moving on to our topic. Now he's saying Zhuo Tian yesterday. Beijing the Tianqi means weather of Beijing. Okay, Zhuo Tian Beijing the Tianqi. Ah,、uh, yesterday Beijing's weather. Zamaya, how was the weather of Beijing yesterday? This is the question he is asking. Zhuo Tian Beijing the Tianqi. Zamaya, Tai Ru La. It was too hot. Okay. Uh, Mintian na. What about tomorrow? Mintian then she's the Maya. How's the weather tomorrow will be like? Okay, so he said Mintian then she's very good. It will be very fine. It will be very good. Mintian then she's very good. Too long. 
overall full lung means neither uh, long cold nor hot okay so who here is falling down here is riding why but if it's followed by a word of falling down then it's changing into a second one like in speaking and also in written chinese fu lang wo ra okay so different in tian tian ji han hao you find fu lang wo ra nai gar nai than do bhi nai gar ni hoti if i want to ask the weather of lahore today how will i say i will say chin tian la ha da tian ji zhen me ya theek hai chin tian la ha da tian ji han hao ra agar aapne waisi bolna jaise usne bola to aap kaise the fu lang bro it's up to you it's entirely up to you how you want to mention like har bande ka apna hai na aaj garmi kisi ko lag rahi hai kisi ko nahi lag rahi kisi ko lagta hai na thanda na gar na thanda garmi hai koi kehta hai aaj garmi nahi hai theek hai so there's a different ways of different people to answer one question so it's up to you how do you answer that question like isne kya kiya isne sirf ye bata diya aaj garmi nahi hai bro and how matlab usse yahi mausam bahut acha laga ki aaj garmi nahi hai is tarah ka bahut acha laga matlab isse spring time cool and bro nahi garmi nahi thand theek hai to isse bahut bahut hi hota hai Up to you how you answer that. Are you only answer that? Since then, last year, since then, how? Full on, bro. Okay, but many people have full on. Same word, same character, same feminine, but uh, there are two names, two uses. Okay, first is can, indicating ability to do something. We have already learned that, right? Now, uh, in this context, is uh, like indicating future possibility, like for it, will. Okay, means I will do this. I will go to university. Okay, the will, will. Okay, that will will be uh, hot. Okay, now we are actually chin here. Look, look at the picture. It's uh, like cloudy, right? It's too cloudy, and it looks like it's going to rain. So the person is actually chin here. Hot. Shall we? Ma, will it rain today? Chin here. Hot. Shall we? Ma, chin here today. Hot means will. Shall we means rain. Ma, ma is a question particle. It changes the definition and turns into a question mark. So Chin Tian, how is Xiaoyu? Ma, will it rain today? This is the question. Now, person is saying Chin Tian, how is Xiaoyu? Still, the negation is how is, how is the negation of how is. So, if you have said will, ko, will not, then you will have how is will be. So, as I told, how is falling down. Okay. Uh, if can be used, so that cannot, cannot be how is. Okay. So now, he is saying Chin Tian, how is Xiaoyu? It will not rain today. Won't rain today. Okay. Next, Wang Xiaoji means Miss Wang. Chin Tian today. Hui. Hi Ma. Hi means to come. Hui means will. So Ma is a question particle again. Wang Xiaoji. Chin Tian Hui Lai Ma. Will Miss Wang uh, come today? Now the person is like, Hui Hui Lai. Will not come. She won't come. It's too cold. Tian Chi Hai Lang La. Hai. You see Hai Lang La. She has Han Ni used Kia. Tianchi Thai Lang La. She, she extreme condition show got the Tianchi Thai Lang La is extremely cold out there. Okay, it's too cold. Chin Tian Hui Xia Yu Ma. Will it rain today? Ah, Chin Tian Hui Xia Yu. It will not rain today. It won't rain. No, it won't rain. Okay, Wang Xiao Jie. Chin Tian Hui Lai Ma. Ah, will Miss Wang come today? Ah, Bu Hui Lai. Ah, Tianchi Thai Lang La. No, she won't. It's too cold. It's extremely cold out there. Okay, this is what she is saying. Now moving on. Look uh, in the picture. There's a there's a patient and there's a doctor. Okay, now doctor uh, is asking the, his patient like me. Shanti zamaya. How's your health? How's your shanti? Is how's your body? How's your feeling? How are you? Okay, now person is replying. Wo shanti. Wo thay hao. It's not very well. It's not good at all. Okay, now you see. Wo means negation. Thay hao. Hi. There is no law. Why? Because it's a negative form. Okay. Wa shen ti. My health. Wu tai hao. It's not very well. Tian qi tai re la. It's too hot. Okay. Weather. Weather is too hot. Wu ai shi fan. Mera dil nahi karta kuch khane ko. Matlab I have no appetite. Wa shen ti. Wu tai hao. Uh, not very well. My health is not very well. I'm not good at all. Uh, Tian Chi Thai Re La. It's too hot out there. Weather is too hot. Wu Ai Shu Fan. I have no appetite. The way you are feeling, 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 the way you are
शे शोएब वाक कुछ फल ठीक है शे मीन साम शोएब वाक फ्रूट और क्या कह रहे हैं कॉमा तो ज्यादा से ज्यादा पीना चाहिए क्या शोएब वाटर ओके द डॉक्टर सजेस्टिंग इज पेशेंट एंड मी तो शे शोएब वाक तो खे शोए मीन्स ईट मोर फ्रूट एंड ड्रिंक मोर वाटर Now the person is saying, "She she need." He said, "Thank you very much, doctor." The person, irrespective, you get what disease? They always suggest you this this treatment. Okay, to a fresh way, to a eat more fruits. To a fresh way, eat more, uh, drink more water. Now, shui means water, obviously. But in China, whenever you ask for shui, means water. They always give you warm water. Okay, I'm going to show warm water. You will get. ठीक है रश वे मींस वार्म वाटर व्हेन एवर यू 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 आस्क फॉर वाटर दे 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 ऑलवेज गिव यू रश वे और वार्म वाटर ओके आपको अगर ठंडा पानी पीना है तो आपको कह के लेना पड़ेगा ठंडा पानी पिंक शुए मींस बर्फ वाला पानी ठीक है अगर आप नहीं बोलोगे तो आपको हमेशा वो अगर आप सिर्फ शुए बोलोगे स्टिल आपको क्या मिलेगा वार्म वाटर यू विल ऑलवेज गेट वार्म वाटर इन चाइना ओके सो इट्स इट्स ऑलवेज वार्म वाटर शोए बेसिकली वाटर मतलब है लेकिन वो देते हैं आपको वार्म वाटर इफ यू आर इन चाइना ओके सो पिंक शोए आपको बोलना पड़ता है आइस वाटर ओके बॉडी लिटरली वो हाय हाउ ओके माय माय हेल्थ इज नॉट वेल ओके आई एम नॉट फीलिंग वेल ओके वो शन थी वो हाय हाउ व्हेनेवर इट्स अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस लाइक इट्स अ नेगेशन वो हाय वो हाय मींस नॉट नॉट इट्स अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस ओके इट्स नॉट लाइक हाउ मींस गुड ओके हाय हाउ ला मींस एक्सट्रीमली गुड वो हाय हाउ मींस नॉट गुड ओके नॉट वेल राइट सो व्हेनेवर इट इज लाइक अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस देन इट Not followed by la, but in positive it always la. La comes. Okay, thai la. La. Remember la. Okay, agar nahi garmi to hum kya bolenge? Tu thai la. Okay, not not hot. Okay, this is so there's no la in the negative sentence. Remember. So yahan pe bhi negative use hua hai. So tu thai ha. There's no la. Remember, but in in positive sentence la will always follow uh, the adjective. Okay, la is adjective. Similarly, ha is adjective, right? So lotion thi tu thai ha. Uh, my health is not good. Tian chi tai re la. Okay, means tian chi tai re la means uh, weather too hot. Weather is too hot. Ah, pu ai shi fan. We have people who are doing this because they want to eat. Right? When 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 we have our children, we have to eat. So, you now the uh, the patient, the doctor is suggesting something like ni means to, tu means more. Okay, shi means to eat. Shi shui gu ah means shi means some, a little, a few. A shui gua means food. To he shui, uh, more and more he shui means drink water. Now, to he shui shui gua to he shui means uh, uh, he suggesting the patient that you have to eat more and more uh, fruits, fruits okay, and uh, have to drink more water. Okay, this is what he suggests. This is common in China. Whenever you are in China, you 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 feel sick. So whatever your uh, whoever your friends are, they will always suggest you that you have to eat more fruits and you have to you have to drink more water. This is this is the common remedy for all kind of like it's it cured every patient. Like it's it's common. मैं भी जब बीमार होता था तो मुझे यही suggestion मिलती थी. अगर मैं बहुत रेयर हूँ वहाँ हम बिल्ला लेकिन Uh, they always suggest drink like, more, more and more drink water and more and more eat fruits. I also suggest my students, my my friends, uh, the same nowadays. Okay, so uh, this is uh, so whenever you fall sick, you have to eat more fruits and you have to drink more water. Remember, in China, whenever you say I want to drink water, they will always give you warm water. You have to say uh, for cold water, you have to ask for it. Okay, to so ask for it. Remember, shui, आपको कभी ठंडा नहीं मिलेगा. You have to ask for ठंडा water. Uh, so warm water because Chinese have a habit of drinking warm water. So cold water is difficult to find, but it's it's not like impossible to find. Yeah. It's difficult to find. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so the patient is saying, "She she me," because the 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 doctor is like caring for his patient, right? He's suggesting him, um, he's suggesting him the solution. 
to to cure himself, right? So the, the uh, he cares for him. Patient is that. So patient is in Shishan Yi, Chutia Tumhara, Isham. Grammar points. Uh, the first word is Samanya. Okay. How to use this is an interrogative pronoun. Uh, how to use this word? I have already told you it is used to ask about the condition of something or somebody. Means you uh, are asking about something or you are asking about somebody. So, for example, uh, Nida Tumhari, Nida yours. Hi, it's Amaya. How's your Chinese language? Okay, Nida Hi, it's Amaya. Uh, now you are asking about something, right? Like Chinese is something. Okay, Ni Mama, Shanti Zamaya. Means how's your mother's health? Now, this time you are asking about somebody. Okay, you are asking about a person. So, Nim Tian Tian Chi Zamaya, how's the weather will be tomorrow? Okay, how's the weather will be like tomorrow? So, you are asking about the weather, it's again something. So, Zamaya is used to ask about the condition of something or someone. Example are in front of you. Rakhai is Zamaya, how's your Chinese? Nida Mama Zamaya. Nida Mama Shanti Zamaya, how's your, how's your mother's health? Nim Tian Tian Chi Zamaya, how's, your, how's the weather will be tomorrow? Okay, so again, Nida Gonzo Zamaya, how's your word? Okay. How's your, how's your study? Okay. So Samaya is used to uh, ask about something or somebody's condition. Okay. So this is a new word. So you can ask about any like to someone me, Zamaya, it's you. Okay. So the person can answer like Bohan Ha. Fine. Whatever he would like to tell, he or she would like to tell. After, after listening to this question, and this is a very good question. If you say this in front of Chinese, they will like look at you. Oh, your Chinese is very good. So you can use this word Samaya. Okay? Instead of saying Ni Hao Ma, you must say Ni Samaya. How's you? How are you? Okay. So moving on. <clears throat> Uh, in Chinese, there is a such a sentence like in front of you. Okay, just make your that is subject, subject. Like first, first, you have to notice that this subject is subject to relation. Okay, like you have a predicate, which is subject predicate. Okay, and uh, basically, this subject predicate again subject to each other makes a sentence structure. Bana hai. Means subject and this subject have both relation. For example, wow, 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 shanti, my health. Okay, now health ka relation to say health is also subject and man, I'm also subject, right? Washanti means health is related to me, right? So subject one will be related to subject two. Number one point. Uh number washanti. Uh hao. It's not good. My my health is not good. Washanti. Puthai hao. My health is not well. Okay. So uh, predicate is puthai hao. Or thai ke baad lo kyun nahi aa raha kyunki pu negation aa rahi hai theek hai now min tian uh tian chi uh hum hao tomorrow the weather will be very good okay min tian tian chi hum hao it's very good tomorrow the weather will be fine tomorrow okay ni uh shanti uh zamaya how's your health okay now i must tell you something that number one wa is a subject shanti Subject. So it has relation. Min tian tian chi means tomorrow's weather. Again, weather has a relation with tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's weather. We're talking about tomorrow and then we are talking about tomorrow's uh weather. Okay. So tian chi is a maya. Ni shanti ni means you. You and your health are related. So subject one is in Chinese, there is such a kind of sentence in which the predicate is a subject predicate phrase. Like this is the predicate and it is a subject predicate phrase. Okay. Subject predicate phrase and then it combined with subject to make a sentence. Moving on to our next topic, next grammar point that is hi. Hi is always used with la. Remember, I told you that if it's positive scenario, then you say la. Like hi, la. It's two whole. Okay. Next, tian chi means weather. Hi, la, la. It's too cold. Weather is getting too cold. Okay, now, wo shen ti pu tai hao. Okay, my health is not bad. It's not, it's not good at all. Okay, my health is not good. Not fine, I'm not fine. 
So Thai, Re, La, here it's La. La, La is mentioned because it's a positive symbol. Tian Chi, Thai, La. Ah, again, it's a positive, like it's too cold. There's no no. Okay, but over here, Wa, Shen, Chi, means my health. Who? Thai. Oh, okay, my health is not bad. Now here, there's no la. Why? Because whenever there's a negative sentence, the la will be omitted. There won't be any la, okay? So the adverb high uh, indicate the high degree. Like it, it, it's showing sasset, like too much. Okay, like higher degree. Uh, la is often used at the end of the sentence with high, like in these two examples, okay? But not in the negative sentences, like this example. There is no la because it's a negative sentence. My health is not good, it's not very bad, I'm not feeling very well. Okay, so love, shama shama love is always used in positive sentence, but in negative negative sentences, love will be omitted. Love will not be used. Okay. Okay, this is hui. Hui. I already told you hui is will. Okay, look, they have mentioned that second. Second means it's the second usage. Okay, first usage was can, ability was not can. Okay, like I I can drive a car, I can speak Chinese. Now the second use is will. Uh, I will go to Faisalabad. Go hui chi Faisalabad. Okay, so the thing is, you will say will. Today it will rain. Chin tian hui xia yu. It will rain today. So will. It is showing the possibility of uh, future. Like it indicates the possibility of situation mentioned. Okay, like papa. Father, before 8 a.m., 8, 8 o'clock. Hui, hui jia ma. Look, the child is asking. Papa. Okay, papa means father. Before 8 o'clock. Hui, hui jia ma. Look, they are asking. Look, there are two hui, but one hui is, uh, one hui is will. Like this is will. And this is hui, means to go back. Home. Okay, so the the papa, pa the end, she end. Hui, Ma, ma. Will papa come back before eight eight o'clock? So the the mother or the mother is applying. Hui, will. Okay, will. He will. Yes, he he will make it. Okay, hui. Agar hui, ab po hui karenge to it means he won't. He won't make it in time. Okay. Now, min tian tha hui lai ma. Will she come tomorrow? So she will come. So the second usage is will. That indicates the possibility of situation mentioned. Okay. Uh, this was the example in the book. Uh, today it will not rain. Okay, our topic is finished. And if you have any questions, you can let me know.